I love basketball. In fact, my sons, I have three sons, they all play. And two of the sons, the teams they've played on have completely different cultures. One son's team looked to win the game, but to spend the minimum amount of energy they needed to win that game. The other son's team goes all out the whole game, um, fully investing in the game in an attempt to win. Product development is about investment. Um, although it is often managed and viewed as uh, something uh, characterized or needing expense management. In product development, we have the classic trade-offs. And uh, Philips Corporation uh, has a very nice way of uh, categorizing, uh, prioritizing these trade-offs. The system, they call it QTF dollar sign. Quality, it's the first trade-off. In fact, it's not really a trade-off. You have a quality threshold that your product needs to meet, um, and uh, there's no negotiation about that. The other three, TF dollar sign, stand for time, functionality, and cost. Time is the second most important of the trade-offs. If your product is delivered on time, it positively impacts your entire customer base. If you withhold some functionality to get that product there on time, it will uh, uh, negatively impact some small section of your, of your market, which is relying on that functionality. If costs are overrun, if the cost of the project or the, the build cost of the product itself fail to hit the target and uh, go over, that affects you internally and doesn't affect your customer base. So Philips, from the standpoint of serving the customer, ranked the order of the trade-offs as QTF dollar sign. Time is king, and yet we get hung up on costs. Uh, we bring our classic business short-term focus uh, to the system, product development, that's concerned about growing our future. If you're familiar with the work of uh, product development guru Don Reinertsen, you're probably familiar with his sense or his, his theory of the cost of delay. On time is the greatest lever for optimizing the return of investment in product development. Expense management in projects should be about measuring costs, not about squeezing them. We recognize the investment nature of product development in our portfolio management where we require predictive ROIs. But how many of your companies follow through and actually check your investment by measuring the S-curve for your return. Very few, at least in my experience, because we are bound by linear process thinking, which ends when the project ends, as opposed to closed loop systems thinking, which goes back and checks the results of our actions. So of my two boys, the one uh, who played on the team with the culture to conserve energy, they had a player on that team who now plays in the NBA but nonetheless, they lost as many games as they won. The team that goes all out, they don't have any NBA caliber players on that team. In fact, the best player on the team will play in Division II college ball next year, and yet that team wins five times as many games as they lose, and they're currently ranked number seventh in the state. When you make an investment, fully commit to the investment, and the investment in product development is most carefully managed and gives its greatest return when you focus not on costs and expense, but on time. Thanks very much. See you again soon.